you're a writer and part of your response to loss was writing about grief and how you've been handling it. And many are reading you as a master class of sorts in how to deal with grief. Sabi mo sa isang essay mo, nobody teaches us how to deal with loss and grief. For years, uh, you've been doing yoga. Uh, I know I know these things uh, because of your writing. No, uh, mm -hmm. You've also been teaching others how to handle trauma after disasters. Uh, you meditate and you've taken classes on how to process emotions, how to process grief. No. So you've developed certain uncommon skills. No? So my first question is, do you think you were more prepared than most to handle loss? Yes, I think I definitely was. Um, what I joke with other people is that Kidlat couldn't have died at a better time <laughs> because I was actually in a really good space, uh, vibrationally speaking. Um, in my, my whole life, I've been um, devoting myself towards practices that that soothe the highly anxious child inside. I was brought up to be a perfectionist and nothing gets more perfectionist than musical theater, right? Like that's, that is a, an industry where you are not allowed to make mistakes and it's very public, right? So, um, so but when my son Kalina was born in uh, 2013, I got interested in energy healing because I was introduced I, I received healing. And so um, uh, right before the pandemic hit, I had certifications in theta healing, in neuro-linguistic programming. And then during the pandemic, I uh, actually studied the self-love solution program. So I was learning uh, self-love and how to teach self-love to my clients. And so I was really practicing what I preached. and. It's so funny because, yeah, I'm a very intuitive person ever since I was a little girl. And as a Virgo, normally when it's New Year, I usually have this practice where I, I, I reflect and then I try to do a year forecast for myself. Parang goal setting, diba? But that year, uh, New Year going into 2022, my inner guidance said not to do it. My inner guidance said, just go inside, just be calm, just nurture yourself, and don't make any plans. Just allow what feels natural to flow. And so it was very puzzling. It was so, you know, not me. But I decided to listen, and I, I was doing a lot of gardening. I was nesting. I was taking care of my kids. But because I was doing a lot of self-care practices like meditation and mindful movement and uh, create being creative uh, drawing painting and all that my vibration was so high like i was at an optimal level and so when the shock of kidlat's death came into our lives suddenly i had this straight strength i i seem to have this soul strength and i can only attribute that to to that self-care, that self-love routine that I had built up. 